Wow. That was nice. You're now reacting to the Kate Indie artist Samuel Sta and his song Do We released in 2019. And the lyrics are a commentary on the growing problem of air pollution, especially in Korea where fine dust is a growing problem. And people have to wear masks to protect themselves. He longs to see the blue sky free from dust. The song is composed, arranged, and written by him. Sick. Let's do it. Wow. That was nice. <laughs> this is the dust jumping around the rocks. <coughs> They're having a dance. Woo. This is really chill. Oh, the percussion rings very nicely. Hey, that's not. That, what is that meter? Three. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. This is about Chacha. Okay, I feel like the beginning, there was like a three in there for a couple, a couple iterations. That was throwing me off a little. Fucked up. His voice is beautiful. His voice is beautiful. <laughs> I like the cool vocals you just introduced. Like, there's more peril introduced. Like, it, this song is like cool and collected, but it's like, hey! <laughs> yeah. This is hip. I wake up with dust. I wake up with dust. 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 Another one bites the dust. Also, it's really cool how like not all the time. Like, cause right here they're not doing it, but before with that uh, like guitar rhythm, they were cutting off a beat. So it kind of like throws you out for a second. I don't know how I was so freaked out by the meter. It's like because a the solid, syncopation solid is there, meter. and you're like, wow. <laughs> Percussion. And then every now and then they'll like displace that guitar rhythm, so it like makes you think one is where it's not actually, which is kind of cool. Ooh. I like the little flute riff. And now we've got choir. I like that sentence. I want my sky again. I like that. This is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's just like so tight, like all the instrumentation, like him singing, the rhythm. It's just like so put together. He's just so good at that. Oh, and he comes back. I love that. It's simple when he says, I want my sky again. Oh, that's interesting. That's I think that's like a... Isn't that a tertiary, ter, tertian chord? Sure! <laughs> <laughs> and on a minor seven and a nine. Now I'm only saying that because there's a piece that I'm playing to end sort of like that. I, and it's, it's like a... Good. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> I do it one note at a time. <laughs> sounds like the same ending as the avocado song. <laughs>
That was really cool. That was that was really good. I like that I a lot. I really liked that. I like that a lot. Yeah, I was so silent because I was like, but I could. Just, mm, I'm good. I, like I'm just, I just yeah. Just gonna cruise. I'm just gonna cruise by. I'm just gonna hit that on replay. I just like yeah. walk home. Bye. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Thanks for the song, man. What do you like about it? I like the. I liked everything about it. I like the singing, I love the, the form, the back and forth. The, the, yeah, the, 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 what, it's what I'm going to call is just polyrhythms uh, for the instrumental backing. Like, Maybe it's just syncopation, but I feel like there's some layers of other rhythmic decisions. I'm like so sorry. Alternative I'm like rhythm. Like, yeah. um, no, nah, it was really, really cool. It was really hip. Kept me, uh, kept me on my musical toes. I love the, uh, like I wake up with dust, cough, cough. It kind of reminded me of uh, Radioactive when they're like breathing out the cold. chemicals. <laughs> what do you think? Oh man, I just love the use of guitar in there. Mm -hmm. Just that sound is so like contemporary and cool and it's being used in so much like fusion jazz and like new music now mm -hmm. and also the like in the the bass line also not all throughout so consistent it just like carried the whole song exactly. until the end and like he was able to like there were moments of silence but he was able to just jump back in it yeah. like that groove was never lost and it was established strongly i sorry i'm like gonna talk about, actually about his diction i Do like <laughs> yes. just talking about that right now but i thought it's so interesting because like when I heard him sing, like when he comes in with his vocals, when he was singing Korean, his Korean wasn't like, not necessarily authentic, right? Because he is, he's like this Korean, South Korean uh, singer, but like it's Americanized, it's like Westernized, his pronunciation. And it's so funny because like, but I can tell for him, like he's like trying to imitate a more like Korean situated, like uh, in the country, like their style of like mm -hmm. um, their accent of speaking Korean, but like you see in like other K pop artists, like there's a, t a trend to like pronounce Korean words or sing Korean with a Western eye sort of accent, but he's going the opposite way. But when he speaks or when he sings in English, it actually comes out a lot more smoothly because the pronunciations obviously are not. I'm assuming, and I think I searched this up, but uh, he's actually he's from Canada too. Yeah, he was born in um, Korea, but then went to school in Canada, law school. Yeah, so it's like for him, the pronunciation isn't as like, as like maybe you can say awkward or like like mouthfully if you can really say that it, to him. Like when I'm listening to this, it really sounds smooth, and I think that really yeah. adds to the, the general vibe that we're getting mm -hmm. here. It's just like another layer on top of like all these other layer, layers, and you don't hear like a li linguistic disruption as much mm -hmm. if that makes sense. But yeah. Something that I would, I want to listen to him more. Dude, he's amazing. I know, he is. It might sound very atmospheric and it never scratches the surface, or it never cuts through the bubble or the smog layer. You know, if you think about like the layer of smog in the sky, it never cuts through it. It never, it never goes out of it. There's always something covering it. Ah. Uh, no? No, that's, that's, that you're, you're getting the facts wrong because if you, if you have that, that would cut through the. It's a metaphor, but yeah. So it was interesting how how he kept this soundscape so alive and fresh throughout the whole song because it did maintain through the entirety of it. What made it so significant in within each each one of the sections is the use of rhythm. It's played out in a cascade motion through the different instruments. In that, you don't you're not always listening to the like, the, the congos and you're just or the congos, the low drums. Congos to dance. Seba. Bongos. Bongos. Uh, or some type of drum. But you alternating from different instruments and that force, that kind of switch from instrument to instrument keeps it fresh. And then for him to just chant, do we, do we, I thought it was like, there's that questionable inflection. It's like, do we, do we. It's, it sounds a little bit like a question, but also it could be an exclamation of a point he's trying to say. Yeah, I thought it was just a nice nice and pleasant song. It's really interesting to have like such a layered approach because you, you don't listen to things uh, like you don't isolate certain instruments like you might with other songs. Here you have to listen to it as a whole, which is really cool. And I think they, was it just that one thing that happened the whole time harmonically? I think, right? Mm -hmm. Like, blah, 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 blah. right? Change right? Yeah, and then you just change it with layers and with different. Change the meters. Yeah. 
Wait, when did he change his music? Well, he'll just like, he'll cut out a beat mm-hmm. every now and then, which he'll kind of be like, whoa. Or he'll like displace it by like an eighth note, which is also kind of has the same effect, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's like a vamp tune. It's kind of cool with a huge budget. <laughs> <laughs> Have I reacted to him before? I yes. Like I liked his voice. Happy avocado. Oh, I liked his avocados. <laughs> Wait, no. 